and welcome back to the channel. I am in full mom mode today. I got my mom bun, messy bun in my hair. Um, I have zero makeup on and I am wearing leggings. So it's one of those days. Um, I'm still recovering and uh, not feeling super, super great right now. So Chloe is in the back right now. Um, and we are about to head to the thrift store and we are going to do a fall thrift store shop with me and hopefully a haul if we can find stuff. I wanna find stuff for the entire family and I have set my budget at $100. So the most I'm gonna to spend today is $100 and that will be on myself, Ryan and Chloe um, to get us all clothes for the fall. Um, I'm also going to be looking for golf shorts for Ryan for an upcoming work trip that he has, but um, that's the only non-fall related item that I think we will be purchasing today. So, wish us luck! Okay guys, we made out like freaking bandits, I swear. I mean, spent $68. I saved seven from it being half price orange tag. Most of the tags I got were yellow, but a bunch were orange. It was half price orange tag. And so I saved $7 from that and spent 68 total. And when you guys see how much stuff I got, and like some of these brands, like you'd pay $68 for one thing, you know? So um, I'm really excited. It's all in really great condition. And I'm gonna show you guys when we get back home after I put Chloe down for nap. So I'm excited. All right guys, hi. And welcome to the haul part of today's video. Thanks for coming shopping with me at Goodwill. I had a really fun time. Chloe and I were able to find a lot of stuff. And actually, this is kind of a big deal because the majority of the stuff I bought today was for me and that's crazy. As a mom, I'm sure many of you out there are moms and you know that when you go shopping, you're shopping for your kids and your husband or your household or you're shopping for other people for gifts. You very rarely end up shopping for yourself and so I like find myself wearing the same t-shirts I've been wearing since I was like 18 years old. Trust me, I need to retire them. But I figured I should go shopping for someone else's retired clothes. And so I went out to Goodwill. Now, I tend to try and go to some of the really ritzy neighborhoods that are nearby and I go to the Goodwills over there. The reason I do that is insider tip. They tend to have really nice, good quality clothes at those places and they don't cost more than the ones that are in other neighborhoods where the quality maybe isn't as nice or the clothing brands aren't as nice. And so I go to more, hi, hi. Moccasin always wants to be in the videos. Um, I go to kind of a little bit fancier areas and I find Goodwills out there and I'm able to always find this like amazing stuff for really great prices. So today I went with a goal in mind. I said I will not spend more than $100 and I only spent $68 and I got this entire giant bag full of stuff. But I did find him um, a blue pair so here's the kind of blue pair. It's like that swishy golf short material, um, whatever athletic material or whatever you wanna call it, and a khaki pair. So um, he has a work trip coming up where they're gonna be golfing. So um, I thought that he would like to have a couple of new pairs of golf shorts and they're like a nice brand and everything. So um, they were $5 a piece. Some of the pricier items of today's purchase Oh, hi, Moccasin. I'm sorry I didn't buy anything for you, but I don't think they have kitty stuff at the Goodwill. Yeah, so I know. Okay, so next here, oh, this is for Chloe. This was $3. It's a Nike, Nike brand, dry fit material. It's for two to three years. Chloe is mostly in size 3T right now. She still fits in a few size 2T things. 
um, but this I know will definitely fit her. It's kind of a longer length. It's all black and has the Nike swish and then has this little kind of, I don't know, overlaps, I guess. And it was really cute and it was $3. So tell me how much you think this will be in if I went to like an athletic store and bought her this nice Nike sweater. Um, the next thing I got for Chloe is like, it's not, yeah, it's Carter's brand. So it's not like Patagonia brand, but it reminds me of like a Patagonia, like zip up, like, cause the pattern and everything. And I love that stuff. I mean, I'm such a hippie at heart and I just like, I have like a cute, a, a cute. I have a few funky patterned Patagonia zip ups that I love. And so, and so I thought that this was just really sweet and it's got like this warm thing. I know it like probably looks a little bit more masculine, but we don't really like abide by that in our house. Like we pretty much just get whatever we like and we don't worry about whether it's like super masculine or super feminine. Um, and so I just thought that this was really sweet and really cute. It is a size 4T, so I think it'll fit her. Hopefully it'll fit her for a while. Um, but the weight rate she's growing, it'll fit her in December, you know. Um, it's got pockets and a little swishy material and it was $2.99. However, it's an orange tag item. So we got it for half off. So it was $1.50. $1.50 and it's in like perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with it. So this was a great find. And I only got Chloe one other item today um, because it was kind of interesting. My clothing was all perfectly sorted into sizes and so was the men's clothing, but the kids' clothing was all messed up. Like it wasn't in the right sizes and I would go where the 3T are and there were 12 months and I'd go where the 12 month were and there were 4T. And so I only was able to kind of sort through for a little while. Um, and I found this adorable thing. It's from the children's place. It is a 2T, but it's big. So it'll be able to fit her. Um, and honestly, when I was pregnant, I had this I swear this exact waffle sort of waffle knit um but this exact like knit shirt it's like a thin kind of cottony material but yeah no it's not cotton it's polyester and rayon but you know whatever um anyway I had the same thing I thought it was just so cute so this is yeah the children's place it was 2t and it was 2.99 now on to my stuff the rest of this entire bag is for mama if you can believe it Okay, first things first, this adorable off the shoulder sweater. It was $6.99. It's from Forever 21. It, I don't even think this was ever worn because the original tag thing is still like the, the tag isn't on it anymore, but the plastic thing was, and I honestly don't believe anyone would wear a shirt with this plastic thing still attached. I, I don't think so at least. <laughs> Um, it's like a slouchy and then this kind of piece of fabric goes across your back. So like across your shoulders and it has a V-neck in the back and in the front and I tried it on and it's really cute, kind of slouchy. It's olive green and I don't know. I think olive green is a really fall color. So I don't normally wear very much of that color, but I think in the fall it's like a good color to wear. Next, this one was half off because it's an orange tag. Um, started out at $4.99, so we got it for $2.50. And it's H&M brand. It is kind of like a slouchy, it's more of like an open knit. It's a really thin material, so this is better for like the warmer days. Um, I could put like a tank top under it and then just, it kind of can slouch off the shoulder too if I want it to. It's uh, black and it's in really good condition, you know? There's a few, a few like little areas where the knit pulled up a little bit, but it's not bad. This one was $4.99. It's just a knit, like a waffle knit, plain. It's from Aeropostal. And it's just kind of cute, typical fall type of shirt. You could wear it, layer it or wear it by itself. It's cream colored. This one was $5.99, but it's an orange tag. So it's half off. So it's three bucks. And 
kind of similar like knit as the last one. Um, it's a little bit thicker material though. And it just had this cute detail here um, when I tried it on. And I liked the thick band at the bottom and the thick band at the arms here. Um, and it's comfy. Guys, this one is American Eagle. It's their soft and sexy brand, which I love. I have a couple of t-shirts and tank tops from this like um, line. So it's very soft. It has this detail in the front. It's just long sleeve, kind of like a looser, comfier style, um, but it's so soft. Um, and this was $4.99. This one was $6.99. It is from Banana Republic. And it has this really cute detailing here. I don't know if you can really see that. Um, sort of a scalloped edge around the neck. Um, and then it's got the white um, thick band here as well as down here. Um, and it's kind of like a stripey, black and white stripey material uh, color. And um, it fits more snugly, but it was extremely comfortable. And I like Banana Republic. They have good quality items and they last a while. So this looks like it's brand new. When I tried it on, you know, you wouldn't believe that anyone had worn this before. So really good quality good find I really like that one and this shirt was $5.99 it's by the brand I've never heard of this live in the moment it sounds like a TJ Maxx brand <laughs> you know like when you go to TJ Maxx you're like I've never heard of this brand what is this um that's what this is so live in the moment um and it's got a peplum so you know sometimes you just want to have like a Thanksgiving meal and don't want to have to worry about whether or not you are having a food baby that day. So you get a shirt with a peplum and <laughs> it perfectly flows over that little food baby belly. <laughs> Maybe that's just like a silly logic, but that's what I think. So um, $5.99, it's black and white stripe, it's long sleeve and it's very soft. It's really comfy material. So you can't be in fall without like some kind of denim shirt, right? So you get the chambrays or the denim shirts and this one, it's Gap and it's $5.99 and it fits like a freaking glove. Like it fits my body so nicely. It's got the snaps, which I love because it's easy to take on and off. And plus I like that it's this like lighter color because I've never had one this color before. I always have like kind of that medium blue, like medium denim blue, not quite that like dark wash, but um, I really like this really light wash because I think it'll go with more and I feel like I might be able to get away with it with a pair of dark jeans because they are so different. This was like such a crazy find. I put this shirt in my cart at Target four times and put it back. I am not kidding you, four times. I think it was like 30 bucks or something. And I kept being like, oh, I don't need it. And you know, I'm, I'm telling you, whenever I go to the store, I find things for Chloe or I find things for Ryan or I find things for the house. So I end up putting back all the things that I wanted to buy for myself because I don't want to spend the money on myself when I should be, you know, spending it on them or spending it on the house. So I like almost, fell over when I saw this shirt there because of how many times I almost bought it for myself and never did. And it was $5.99 today. And it is this, this shirt. And at Target, when it was on the shelf, these were tied, this was tied, kind of like that. And it's just like a really loose, it's that same kind of waffle knit material. I think they're really great to transition from summer into fall with these kind of like Merlot and wine colors. But I was just so happy to find it today because I, I promise you guys, I almost bought this shirt so many freaking times. And that is everything. But I think that this is a pretty good haul for $68. If you ask me, I did pretty good today. What do you guys think? Okay, so let me know in the comments below what your guys' favorite thing was that I purchased today. Also, don't forget to let me know if you have any more fall ideas for me because I am going to be doing a lot of videos this fall and I've already gotten a few in the ranks ready to go, but I'd like to know if you have any good ideas that you would like to see from me. 
So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining. I hope that you'll like this video. If you liked it, if you enjoyed it, if you enjoy hauls like this and you want me to do more, please give this video a like. Um, don't forget to give me a comment below and I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. I really do hope that you will join my YouTube family here. I am really working hard to try and get up to that 500 subscribers. If you're new here, you need to know that my husband Ryan, who rarely will even be in a video, promised me that if I get to 500 subscribers, he will let me do the pie in the face challenge with him, which means that if I get any questions right, or if he gets any questions wrong, I'm not sure how it works. I get to throw a pie in his face <laughs> and I really, really want to do that. So you guys, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join my YouTube family, share my video with your family and friends, pass it along to anyone that you think would want to be a part of my family here on YouTube. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Bye. Eee. Moccasin says, bye. Thanks for watching.